This is the story of the frontline ending FGM, who we are and what we do. FGM is the cutting or removal of the female genitalia. It causes mental, physical and long-term medical harm. At present, 200 million girls and women have undergone female genital mutilation. And every 10 seconds, somewhere in the world, a girl is butchered. I know what FGM does to the girls in my community. And these girls are totally innocent. They don't know what is awaiting them. These girls will never be the same again. No to FGM! Research shows that grassroots organizations and local women activists have proved more effective than any others in reducing FGM. Yet, less than 2% of donor funding goes directly to them. Je connais des dizaines, des centaines d'ailleurs de personnes, de féministes et d'activistes. Si nous avons le financement direct, nous pouvons faire beaucoup de choses. We really need to focus on grassroots activists and organizations because they are the people with first-hand experience. They are the people who are passionate. As local people who have actually gone through the practice, who know what it means as victims, I think we have the sole power and authority to make the difference. Over the past 10 years with our main backers, UNFPA, Frontline Ending FGM has built a network of over a thousand frontline organizations in 14 countries. Our strategy is uniquely simple. We teach organizations how to use local radio and TV to end FGM and exposing the medical realities often turns community and religious leaders into allies. Activists devise and run their own low-cost campaigns in their own languages. Bonsoir, chers auditrices, auditeurs. Aujourd'hui, le thème, c'est les mutilations génitales féminines. They bring influential leaders onto radio and TV whose condemnation of FGM reaches millions of people. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. The Bible does not mention about FGM. We provide our grassroots campaigners with direct and transparent funding. All communications are via WhatsApp. Here, activists submit proposals, receive the money and provide receipts. And it works. In our latest impact survey in Kenya, 84% of people surveyed said they were changing their minds about the worst type of FGM. With UNFPA, Frontline Ending FGM are developing this live digital map that finally gives donors a safe, reliable mechanism to fund frontline organizations through the UNFPA and the intermediaries, the Global Media Campaign. Frontline Ending FGM is comprised of passionate volunteers, most of whom are survivors. All we need is funding. We have strategies. We know what to do. After generations of being ignored and underfunded, the frontline is finally taking the lead. To shift the power shift the decision making and bring in the local organization if you really want to achieve the change that the world wants to see. <laughs>